Hello everyone! In today's video I thought that we could paint some pots together because I've got a few that I've made and well I basically need to paint them so I thought it'd be fun for you to come along and see what I do and the process behind the thoughts and what I plan to do. I mean these guys are already dry which is good so that I can paint them and decorate them. Um, as you can see some of them have like little features on like little ears and little noses and everything so I've already sculpted and trimmed them and everything. It would just be a painting video today. But they're all different sizes because I have different plans for them. So like the bigger ones here are going to be used for like little succulents and stuff like that to put in. And then the smaller ones I was hoping to turn into candles. Because I really like little animal candles. I think they're a bit more personal and like having a little pot that you can possibly use after. You know to put little stuff in once the candles burnt down. I thought it would be nice. So if you'd like to join me and see what I come up with and what ideas I have, then feel free to watch the video. So I thought I'd start off by painting my little fox pot I've got here. I've also got another one over here, which is a little candle version of it I'm planning to make. Um, but I thought I'd start with the fox one just because I felt like it. <laughs> so I've got like white, orange and black. And I always tend to start with white. Um, just because it's a lighter colour and if I don't feel like it's layering right, I'll, I can add more layers and then anything that I've missed I can go over with the darker colours, like if I've accidentally gone over too far I can go over with a darker colour. So I'm going to try and film this as best as I can for you so that you can get um, what I'm doing at the same time. But Obviously the foxes have got a little bit of white on their nose and then further down as well. So it's going to be a little bit difficult but I will try my best. <laughs> I don't know why, I've never done a fox before but I was watching a YouTuber studio vlog and um, she uh, does quite a few foxes and I love foxes, they're so cute and everything. I mean apart from when they're screaming in the middle of the night. Um, so I thought that doing one would be quite cute because they are very cute animals and then I thought about making a candle version and possibly putting like orange wax in the middle for the candle um I don't, I don't know why I said that it's quite obvious but um so yeah that, that's the plan of action whether that comes about I don't know I was thinking about making a um Lion is what I was thinking about making because I have made a tiger Which is why I know that the orange goes on well on terracotta like not I have to do two layers of the orange anyway, but the Yellow because I made you might have seen in the video. I made a bee Candle from the pot and I used terracotta as well, but it took so many layers of yellow that took me so long I mean luckily I made that for my mum. So she got that for Mother's Day and I also got her some earrings for Mother's Day. But yeah, I thought it'd be nice to have some talking videos as well because I do quite like both talking and silent videos. It depends what mood I'm in personally, so you might be the same. Maybe you like silent ones more or you like both or you like talking ones more. But I thought it'd be nice just to like sort of get to know the process behind it because I quite like, as I said, I quite like both. So sometimes I'm a bit more like I just want to watch it silently and have some nice music in the background and other times I uh, want someone talking about the process. So I thought I'd try and film today. But yeah, I just thought about doing a fox and I've got um, a mouse and a little bear candle as well. And then I attempted to do... Um, a little mushroom pot on the wheel. Uh, it's not the best possibly but I felt like trying and attempting it because I'm not that confident on the wheel. I mean luckily I can make something which is why I even posted about the video where if you don't feel confident in pottery like it will just take time and I'm not always that confident in it. Um, but I really do enjoy it, which is why I want to try and carry on until I get more confident. 
going to add the white first and this probably will take a few layers to do um, because of, obviously it's quite dark um, terracotta to be fair I have used grey clay like and then it dries a light grey but I will still put on layers of white just to make sure that I've gotten everything so I'm gonna have to try and work on the symmetry now so you <laughs> this is uh, gonna be a good angle for you isn't it <laughs> But yeah, so they've got some whites on their like, sort of like belly area, belly mouth area. And then they've got white in their ears. And obviously they've got white in other places, but because I'm mainly focusing on the face for this, um, and not their legs, although it would be quite cool to do like a pot with little legs on it, wouldn't it? I have done one before. Um, I made a little elephant one. And they had little, little legs on it. If I can get a picture, I can. I'll try and show you. Oh, I completely forgot. I was talking about making a lion, but <laughs> yeah, as I did with the bee, it was going to be yellow. And I was going to like carve in the mane sort of thing. That was the plan. But I just thought with this sort of clay, it would just take layers and layers of yellow, which will make it such a long process. um to do that so i was sort of thinking or oh, maybe i won't do that then um but the orange i'll just do two layers um as if i've already done orange on it so that's why i went with the fox and everything I've just finished doing the second layer of the white on the fox so I'm gonna start doing the orange on the fox and then all the details will be in black like the eyes and nose and they have a little bit of black around their ears so I was also gonna do that in black I mean this orange is so much more vibrant than <laughs> terracotta um, I've done a few so like I've got a brown bear pot that I need to add like the eyes to and then the mouse which is like I will paint the nose and I'll paint on whiskers and then I'll paint on the eyes um, uh, I'm doing that though without adding paint to the background at least that's the plan I have done it before with the Highland cow where I textured the terracotta um, you know like carving into it to make the fur texture and added horns and I only painted the horns um, because I wanted the terracotta colour to come through and that's what I want as well with the bear and the mouse is to have that terracotta colour and also what I quite like about it when I'm not adding the paint to it and everything is that you can see all the work that have gone into making the pot so like the swirl on the pottery wheel when you're like spinning it and everything and the adding the textures like the adding the sculpture and all that you can see all of it and I only do it with a few If you want, you can let me know in the comments if there's like a animal that you really like or maybe you would want in a pot. Because I personally, I love penguins, which is why I have so many pots of penguins. I mean, I literally have a pot I made here of a little penguin. <laughs> it's got a succulent in. Um, and I've tried out different pots in penguins. Like, you know, when I tried out the candle varnish, I tried it in a penguin pot because... 
I was like, oh, I like penguins, so if it goes well, I get to keep the penguin pot, so it's fine. and add the little details in black. So I've got the little fox now, just added his nose and his ears and I did a little bit of black behind the ear because the foxes have a bit of black behind there. So that's him all done and just needs to be varnished now. We've got my little mouse pot now and I'm hoping to turn this one into a little candle. Um, I've intentionally tried to make the ears look a bit bigger and put a little nose on him and I'm hoping to add some little whiskers to him and a little pink nose obviously you gotta make the nose pink so I've just mixed some colours so to get quite a lighter pink I've got my little bear pot with me and I'm planning to add little like smiley eyes um if I can show a picture I did a bear pot as in like um, a plant pot sort of one um so I'm hoping to do the same with this one and have the same sort of um features so it's all going to be brown it's going to stay this sort of like terracotta colors and one of the main reasons why I do this is because I literally just love the fact that you can see like the swirl in the middle um, of the pot. Uh, it will still be varnished and everything because obviously the candle, it won't be good for the candle um, if it's just clay. <laughs> so it will be varnished but it just, you will see the texture and everything, the work that's gone into the pot. Um, so yeah, I will be doing that but it will require a lot of concentration so you probably won't um, sorry, I'm just getting my brushes out. You won't be seeing me actually, like, showing you on the camera because it's going to be very difficult for me to do that. <laughs>
So I've got my little mushroom pot here. You can see my attempt to make the mushroom shape. I mean, I don't think it's too bad, but um, might need a bit more work on to do it. But of course, with the mushroom, I'm gonna go classic mushroom and do a red top. I'm still debating about doing a white bottom or to leave it brown. Um, I might do white just because it's a bit more like classical everyone knows that design and everything so yeah I've got him to paint so that's what I'm gonna start doing pot I've only started with red first because um, like I was saying earlier I didn't know whether I want to keep the bottom brown and then do the top white just made a little border of red at the bottom because I want to obviously try and separate it and try not to go over it's just easier to do the line first not like I'm very good at painting in a straight line <laughs> so we sh we'll see how this turns out <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this to dry first and then I'll probably do another layer of red and I'm thinking of making like the inside a bit red as well um, and then I'll add the white dots and I'll see how I feel I quite like it with the brown bottom but I will see because I changed my mind a lot <laughs> so I'll see how it turns out and everything <laughs> decision on the mushroom pot I think I am gonna paint the bottom bit white <laughs> after deciding but I've done the inside red and everything like that and I'm thinking of possibly putting white spots on it like I will for the top but I mean you never know apparently I changed my mind a lot so <laughs> I'm gonna add a white border between the red and the white and then I will paint the bigger bit white but I've got my little mouse pot here he's got little like yellow whiskers i don't know if you can see but he's all ready to be varnished unless i decide something else <laughs> and then i've got my little bear one as well who should be ready to be varnished <laughs>
So I've added the two more layers onto the white. So what I'm going to do is start dotting the top to make the little mushroom stud. And I've got these paint brushes and I'm going to use the back of it. But these ones are luckily thicker than some of my other ones I have. So I'm going to try and use that and see if it will look okay, if that will be big enough on here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to get started on doing. finished painting all the pots so I'm just going to show you all of them so it's got the little bear one this one was much less time to do <laughs> but I have to try and get the eyes same level and everything and then I got the little mouse as well it's got like very light whiskers on it I've got my mushroom pot all done I really like this one I think I'll probably make some more of these ones and try and work on the shape a bit better but I really like it and then I've got my two foxes so I've got bigger pot and bigger fox and then the smaller ones yeah I got them all done in the end so they just need varnishing and then the smaller ones will need to have candles put in them. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you like to see the process and everything. And hopefully I'll catch you in another one. Bye!